Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sauber Lab and today will be another video about Docker. In this video specifically, we're going to show a self backup solution for photos and videos, really similar for Google Photos, but self hosting and you can control all your data. Also, in this application, you can have option for mobile, what you can install directly in your iPhone or directly in your Android phone and in this way you can automatically backup it. This application is really similar for PhotoPrism, but one advance in relationship of the other application. These have a mobile option. Also, you can self-host, you can manage yourself, and it's quite simple. And in this video, we're gonna show how you can install it. We're not going so in depth to show how you can configure the external access for it, but you can use a proxy manager or Cloud Fertunio or a VPN to do this configuration. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider it for subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed, then let's understand a little bit more about it. So the application that we're gonna install in this video will be image. Before we start to explain how you can install and how you can explore it, you need to have in mind that uh, this application is still under development and possible have some bugs. So always is required to make a backup for your data. Anyway, we're gonna explain a little bit more ahead. Here in the official website for Image, they already say that it's uh, this application itself hosts backup solution for photos and videos on mobile device. And here you can click get start or demo. Before we go to demo, one thing that's important for you to know, if you come here, you can download it in a Google Play or App Store. So basically it will work either for Android or for iOS, Apple device. Anyway, before we start to do any installation, I will suggest you to have a look in this application, see if it's work. So we come here in demo, and here in demo they already give this information that the standard email and user will be this one, so I can come here and copy and copy the same information and put login. Here once that login, right, some things that has been uploaded in the application. I don't know if someone else upload or it's definitely an original picture. I think that those is 11th of January, it's quite old, and this one was Wednesday. So I believe that some of those was really late and some of those it's just updated. If I open here the picture, I can see all the information for the pictures, the same thing for the other pictures, the location and uh, what it's similar items. And if I go back, I can come here and explore. I can define what I want to discover. I can discover a face and I can tape or name this face I can come here and see what places that was took the pictures. If I come here in map, I can have an overview for all the pictures. So basically, lots of pictures took in this location. If I click here, they will give me an overview for all the pictures that I took in that specific location. Also, I can share, create some folders. And in these folders, I can click share with some person. And then in this way, the person can see those pictures. I can come here in albums, create different albums. I can come here in archive some pictures and I can review my trash. One thing that's interesting that here they already appear what's the storage that you have. In this case, you have 45 gigabytes available and you use red 30 gigabytes. And here's the survey status and the revision that's running. So have this one in mind. And if you really like and want to go ahead, then we're gonna start to explain how we can install. So we come here in the GitHub website. Here in the GitHub, this image that we're gonna use, that image, apps image, and here they will have a divisional overview, how many people in Discord, if you want to give some suggestion, you can come here directly in Discord, and here what they advise. So they advise that this is under very development, very active development, so we'll change a lot of things over time. You still have some bugs and some breaks, so, this could change the template, could change the layout. Don't use this application only the only option for backup. Always try to follow the rule three to one. 
and already told in other videos, we needed to do a backup, at least three copies for the same data. You need to have one local, you need to have uh, another local and another off-site. Exactly in the case that if your main data lose, you can recover the or second one local, and if everything happen, you still have the third place off-site. Here they will give all the information. One thing that's interesting, they're using a free tier uh, Oracle VM to run this application as a show-off. And it's exactly the same VM that I show in the previous video, how you can run and people start to use it. So here you can see what features that will work only for mobile and what features will work for web. Of course, auto uploads and everything, they need to be specific in the mobile and some admin users or configurations need to be specific for the web. Have this one in mind, we're gonna start to install this application on the Docker. So if I open here the Docker, they will give all the steps how to do the installation. You have two options, you can come and create those and uh, tape it, or you can come here and copy only this specific link. In my case, I will open put to do it. Here put it, I will locate where I want to save this Docker. So we'll put CD volume 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 one slash docker slash image. Once that I stay in the location that I want to do this installation, I will come here and copy this first step and paste it. After this one, I can come here, my second one for environmental, and paste it again. And if I want to do any hardware acceleration, I can select the last one. In my case, I'm using a Synology NAS, so it will not make any difference. Have this one in mind, now I can modify. I have two options, I can use nano, if I put ls slash a, I have those two files, I can put nano docker compose or nano environmental, or I can go physically in that location and modify it. In my case, I will modify physically in this location, on the show, I'll put edit, and here will appear the information, so the upload location will be library. So I needed to create this folder called library. I come here, new folder, and create the folder library. Second thing, they will say that uh, you want to choose a release version or a beta version. I suggest you to use a release one. Don't try with a beta because that could not work and here will be the password so we'll come here and generate some random password and once that I generate it I can only save it now I go back here in the website and I cop this step to install the docker compose so I'll come here clear this page and put install and enter they will ask for uh, admin user, so we need to put sudo and the same step and put enter. Now I need to take my password. And here they will start to create a database, they will start to install all the application. This could take some minutes until they finish to extract everything, process everything and get rid for you. They will be full, 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 install. And once that everything appears as a started or created, it means that has been Style successful so let's wait so once that you appear this message start start and you have the prompt back we can come here and open our put if I open our put we have those application ready install and if you look you have image proxy microservice service redis post great machine learning web and others so here if you look this proxy they will give the port 28 83. So to open the application, we're gonna click in this bottom, and here first time that you do this installation, it'll appear. Welcome to Wimich Web, so you can get get starting. And here we need to create your admin account, and here we'll put all my information and put sync up. Now I use exactly the same information to do the login. Once that I do the login, they appear this page, and here, because I don't have any picture yet, I can start to add my information. Remember, here will be appear the amount of storage that you have. So in my case, I have a 10.5 terabytes, and I use 8.1. So if I come here, admin, what's the important thing to do before you start to upload any picture or anything, 
you need to have in mind that here you're going to create your users. Each user will create their own information. And if you create more users, you're going to create different folders. You can share information from one user to another, but everything that will upload in one user will keep for that specific user unless you put it to be shared. Here in jobs, there will appear all the information for all the activities that's going on. Here in settings, what I like to modify, principally here in storage templates, because I don't like the way that they do the templates. How it's working now? You're gonna have the year that you took the picture, in this case will be 2022, and then 2022 and the date. I don't like this idea because I want to group all the pictures that I took for that specific month in one place, not only per day. So I can come here, so I select this format. It means that uh, it will appear the year, the month, and that's the name of the picture. So every picture that I took in January will be located in January location. If I take pictures in other days, they will locate in the other days. So I'll save it, and now I can look for the rest of the information and set according my needs. If we start to be too slow to do the jobs, you can come here and change it. And you can do any configuration that you want. You are free to do it. Only take care that uh, have in mind that if you put more or less could affect your performance of the server or the quality of the pictures. But anyway, here's the information. Here in server settings will appear how many pictures that you have and how much each user is using for the capacity. If you want, if you have any proper and you want to repair, you can come here and add the information repair. So now we can come here back. In my case, I will upload some pictures for one of my previous video. And here when you start to upload, they will appear the status and what is going on. Straight away, they will not appear the pictures because they need to go to the jobs. So once that finish, you don't have the pictures. You come here, admin, jobs, and here they will show what is going on. Always you can stop or pause, or you can say that he scan it to be sure that all the information is there. If I return here, they start to appear the pictures, and if you look, I have two pictures exactly the same. Why is it? I have one picture that it uh, took in JPEG, and another one took in RAW. So two times the same picture, one RAW, one JPEG, and here I can see the information of the pictures. If I want to choose a location, or anything will appear here. In this case, I didn't activate the location for my camera, so they will not appear where I took that specific pictures. Here, I can download it, and if I click here, they will process a little bit, organize for you, and it will appear the prompt to download. Because they still have some jobs going on, this performance will be quite slow, so it could take a little bit longer until it's ready for you to do any activity. So here I can close, here I can return, and now they start to have more pictures because the thumbnails start to be generated. If I come here and explore, because I just upload the pictures and those pictures quite big, they don't appear yet for explore. Let's wait from those jobs complete. Now since that's uh, only face recognition is work on, and once that they finish it, I can come here back, explore, and that will appear my picture. To set up my picture, I can come here and put my name and put done. And if I have more pictures with my name or my face, I can select it and I can modify and select the same one and mix it. In this way, all the pictures will appear for me. Of course, this system is not perfect because those pictures clearly it's exactly the same person, but they understand a little bit different according to their understanding. Here map, they will appear the location because my pictures I didn't took with location, so they will not show where in the world was located. Here I can share, so I can come here, create some albums. Let's say that I want to add to album. So I come here, add to album. I create as Alan, enter. And here I can put it to share and they will create the link. Because I'm using local, they will not um, be able to share outside from my network. But if I want to do it, I can install Cloudflare Tunnel or I can install any proxy manager and make an external website. Remember, if you want to do an external website, you need to use your IP address and the port 2283. If you change this port for another one, you need to use exactly the same make it to work your external access. 
So guys, I hope that you like this video. If you like this video and think that was interesting, don't forget to leave a like. Consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet. And see you next time. Bye.